So we are now in the foyer by the front desk here at the library. And again, this is not the original part of the building, but we do have some treasures here that I do want to point out. These two are actually Norman Rockwells. This first one is called The Old Couple or The Boutonniere. That is actually President Harding and Mrs. Harding on his inauguration day. And then over here we have Friends and Allies, Smiles in Belgium once more. That's right after World War I. And I'll show you another treasure of mine. This is actually from my good friend, O. Henry. It was 1903. It was in the spring of that year that I had read something. It was called Roads to Destiny, and it was written by O. Henry. At that time, it was an unknown author. Well, I read that story and I thought to myself, he's an amazing writer. I was impressed not only by his writing style, but also the story and there was Henry in my lineage, so I was wondering, were we related? Well, I wrote to him through my father's company, and by the time I heard from him, I was actually here in Lithopolis. We would come to visit each summer, my grandmother and my Aunt Jenny. So we were here. When I say we, my mother and me, he wrote to me then and, you know, told me, no, my actual name is not Henry. Sydney Porter is my name, so we are not related. And he started asking me questions about what I was doing, as you would. Well, I was here in Lithopolis, so I told him a little bit about Lithopolis. Lithopolis actually means city of stone. But there was actually a stone quarry not far, just, just across the way there. The Junkirth family actually started that stone quarry. Alice Junkirth, she became known as Tombstone Lady. She made tombstones. She was the granddaughter of the original Mr. Junkirth who started the, the stone quarry. He actually drew a picture of Oz Junkert, the tombstone lady, and various other drawings as he would tell me stories about his life. Well, I kept all these letters. They became the book, Letters to Lithopolis. When I was being interviewed shortly after the dedication of the library here in Lithopolis, I was actually at my home at Dover and Mean Manor, and I was being interviewed by Mary Horton. In that first paragraph, she wrote about how she's interviewing Mabel Wagnalls, the person who had just dedicated a library in one of the most famous towns in the world, Lithopolis, Ohio. And that's because of this book. 